Prayer in the Home, March 24, in Heavenly Places. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. If ever there was a time when every house should be a house of prayer, it is now. Infidelity and skepticism are prevailing. Iniquity abounds, and in consequence the love of many waxes cold. And yet in this time of fearful peril some who profess to be Christians have no family altar. They do not honor God in the home nor teach their children to love and fear Him. The idea that prayer is not essential is one of Satan's most successful devices to ruin souls. Prayer is addressing the mind to God, the fountain of wisdom, the source of strength and peace and happiness. Prayer includes acknowledgement of the divine perfections, gratitude for mercies received, penitential confession of sins, and earnest entreaty for the blessing of God, both for ourselves and for others. Jesus prayed to the Father with strong crying and tears. Paul exhorts believers to pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17. In everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. God has a right to command our devotions. His authority is sacred and unquestionable. We are under obligation to pray because he requires it and in obeying his requirements we shall receive a gracious and precious reward. Parents should make a hedge about their children by prayer. They should pray with full faith that God will abide with them and that holy angels will guard themselves and their children from Satan's cruel power. Fathers and mothers, at least morning and evening lift up your hearts to God in humble supplication for yourselves and your children. Your dear ones are exposed to temptations and trials. There are frets and irritations that daily beset the path of old and young, and those who would live patient, loving, cheerful lives amid daily annoyances must pray. This victory can be gained only by a resolute and unwavering purpose, constant watchfulness, and continual help from God. The Signs of the Times, August 7, 1884